All right, you're free to go. Whew. After all I've been at the wrong thing prison, <laughs> it's time to get back to business. As you've seen in my last Court for Wrong Things, I went around my own house. And that's what I'm doing this time. Well, instead of doing it in my house, well, we actually still are, but we changed it into an actual motel to see what guests that come here are doing now. So let's see who can get today. Alright, so the first guest we're trying to get is a name, a man, <laughs> a man named Jones. Yes, I don't really know if Jones is a good first name, so I'm pretty sure this guy's going to have something wrong up his sleeve. So, we're just going to go and check out his room. You see him climbing, climbing, climbing up the Empire State Building. He's up in every single plane that he sees. And then he looks at you and says, I'm not a gorilla. My name's King Kong. King King Kong. Do -do -boo -boo -boo. Oh my. I wasn't doing anything. I. Oh god, I'm busted. Oh yeah, the judge is back. Come on, give me up, give me up. Oh yes. Oh yeah, and check it out. Oh yeah, oh, that's a better now. I don't even have to wear glass yet. Oh yes, I am so gangster right now. But judges actually have to get up on the real problem. So we're just going to go right ahead to uh, you, Jones. Um, what's your first name? <laughs> oh, wait, that is your first name. Um, sorry about that. Um, so according to Bob Ryan, he said he caught you in your room playing with a King Kong stuffed animal singing a song with it um and it says in your profile portfolio when you handed this in you're 43 um, um yeah wow 43 and doing something like that that's that's really kiddish and that means it's really really wrong so i'm just gonna go take a look look see in the book of wrong things Ooh. I'm uh, sorry, Mr. Jones. I mean, Jones. You have to pay $40,000. $40,000? That just blew it! You have to pay it! Game over. Alright, so the next person we're going to try to get is the person who's in my parents' room. Now, I've been hearing some pretty weird noises coming from that room, and I don't know what it is. Maybe he has a dog or in there or something. Well, let's go check. Alright, so Bob Ryan didn't really explain your name. Your name is Drew Anderson. Well, Bob Ryan said he caught you in his parents' room. Well, it's a motel, so you can pretty much go anywhere. Uh, he caught you in your room singing Bruno Mars' Grenade, but you were singing it, <clears throat> like, so terribly that if cats could sing, they would hate it too. I mean... I'm just looking in the book around things to see. Oh, look. Look, it's like right where I just flipped to. <laughs> the front page, okay? <clears throat> I'm afraid you have to pay $100,000. Yo, you know what? I'm a gangsta, okay? I'm like Usher, okay? I'm way better than Justin Bieber. I don't know how he got to me. I'm a way better singer than Justin Bieber. I mean, I'm not going to pay you any of that money, you know? Alright, you don't have to pay. Well, if you don't want to pay, you're going to have to, uh, you know, <clears throat> go to a jail and go into a cell full of gay men. 
All right, I'll have the $100,000 ready by next week. I thought so. The judge always gets his way. All right, so sadly, we're running out of time, so we can only do one more person. Now, this one is in my room, and I really don't like him in there, but I'm afraid the only way we can make money is if he goes into there. So I want to see if he's doing anything wrong, because I will not let him do anything wrong in my room. All right, let's go see. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh, knock first when you come in! God, you're naked on my bed! Oh. Okay, so the uh, third of Bob Ryan's culprits. Your name is Jason Galowitz, and my god, did you even bother wearing any clothes? Mm, no. That's a little bit wrong for myself. Oh god, ugh. Whatever, um, jeez, I gotta take a few pills after this. Um, so, Bob Ryan said that he caught you in your room reading while naked on his bed, not yours. I, I mean, I don't know if it would be too wrong if it was on yours, but on his, no. So we're going to that page. Wow, that's a lot of money. Four hundred million grand I know I I am very sorry for you oh god your honor that is a lot of money but the only problem is I don't think I'm the one that should be deserving it I mean look at what Bob Ryan did hey hey don't bounce the guilt off to me I'm the one that caught you hold your horses Bob Ryan I think James has a point I mean you're the one that walked into walked into him while he was in your room naked. Um, that's kind of like the last incident when you walked in on your father when he was on the toilet. Hmm. I'm afraid, Bob, you're going to have to pay the fine. The way to get out of this is that James is has to at least get killed and... Well, he's dead. Fine by me.